Today I'm going to show you how you can turn your max FPS from this to this. Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you've been watching my channel, then you'll know that I've been benchmarking games on Apple's fastest chip to date, the M1 Ultra. However, there is one benchmark that is missing that has been requested a lot, and that is Minecraft. Now, before you turn this video off because you don't care about Minecraft, I promise I'm gonna make this video interesting because the main theme of this video is about how much faster Mac games could run if they were optimized for the M1 Apple Silicon chip. And today we're gonna benchmark three different games running on the M1 Ultra at glorious 4K resolution and compare their Intel Rosetta version to the performance of their optimized native ARM ports. And if you watch until the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to get the best performance out of some of the most popular games on the Mac. So if you didn't already know, the M1 Ultra is the latest in the Apple Silicon lineup, which uses the new ARM instruction set. And software optimized for native ARM performs far better than it did with the Intel generation. And in order to ease the transition away from the old Intel CPUs, Apple introduced a compatibility layer called Rosetta 2, which translates x86 64-bit into native ARM instructions in real time. Now the performance of Rosetta 2 is extremely impressive, especially considering that we can run games from a completely different CPU architecture. However, if we have the option to run native ARM builds of games, then this is going to give us the best performance possible. So one of the best examples of native ARM performance improvement is going to be with the game Minecraft. So today we're going to be benchmarking Minecraft running at 4K and comparing the Intel versus native ARM Java builds. So if you download the official version of Minecraft for macOS, then you're going to be given the Intel build, which will run through Rosetta 2 and can run at a respectable 110 FPS at 4K resolution on the default settings. However, with a very simple fix, we can actually get Minecraft running on native ARM Java. And this provides a dramatic 80% improvement in frame rate with just a simple fix. All you have to do is to download the latest version of native ARM Java and then download ManyMC, which is a fork of MultiMC, which has been built specifically for the M1 chip. If you'd like to find out how this works, then please check out the link in the description for my video tutorial on how to set this up. But you might be asking yourself, do I need to go through all the trouble of running the ARM version of this game if I can just run a performance enhancing mod like Sodium, where we could easily get a respectable frame rate of 250 FPS on the Rosetta 2 version. However, we can run the exact same Sodium mod on the native ARM version of Minecraft, and we are literally doubling the performance just from this simple trick. But what about shaders? So if we add shaders to Minecraft, this dramatically reduces the performance of the Rosetta 2 version of the game. And you might think that if we add shaders to the ARM version, we're going to see doubling of performance once again. However, you can see here that we're only getting an increase of around 20%. And that's because Rosetta 2 is a translation layer that primarily affects the CPU rather than the GPU, which can be more of a bottleneck for shaders and other games too. And this is exemplified in the game Total War Troy. So this game is available on the Epic Games Store as an Intel build, which you can run through Rosetta 2, but it's also available as a native ARM build if we buy the game through the App Store. However, you can see in this benchmark here that the two versions of the game run very similarly. And if we compare the average frame rate for both of these games, you can see that the ARM version of the game has less than 5% improvement over the Rosetta 2 version. So last up is Baldur's Gate 3, and this is one of the best games that runs on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. We're running this on ultra settings at the 4K resolution. And on the left we have Rosetta 2, and on the right we have Native ARM. And as you can see, the Native ARM version actually performs slightly worse than the Rosetta 2 version. So last year I tweeted Elverils, who are the porting house, helping Larian to bring Baldur's Gate 3 to the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And what they said is that the native ARM version has potentially better multiplayer and physics. However, the GPU code is going to be very similar between the Rosetta 2 and native ARM versions of the game. And here it looks like the GPU is bottlenecking this particular game and that some implementation of the native ARM code is slowing the game down slightly. And all this really proves is that Rosetta 2 is a very impressive technology which allows Intel versions of games to run fantastically on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And this also shows that not every game is going to see the huge benefits of performance increase that say Minecraft will get. And it really depends on how developers take advantage of the power of the M1 Apple Silicon chip. So definitely make sure to check out the M1 compatible games master list which you can find on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. In this list you can actually search for native games and Rosetta 2 games and you can see that some Rosetta 2 games can actually be played natively and in most situations this is going to give better gaming performance. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other requests for games running on the M1 Ultra then please leave a comment. If you like the video please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.